World leaders are up in arms over America's secret information gathering, but it's not just the government collecting data. We're living in the days of do-it-yourself sleuth. Suspicious of your spouse? Worried about your kids? There's an app for that. ABC's Juju Chang dives into a world where secrets are quickly becoming a thing of the past. Whether it's snooping on your neighbors, as posted on YouTube, keeping tabs on your sitter, or just trying to bust your two-timing spouse, it seems nearly everyone is spying on someone. The right to privacy may be a bedrock principle in our country, but if you suspect your lover is a cheater, you can violate theirs with these tiny hidden cameras, which can capture all sorts of hijinks, like this footage recorded by Michelle Russell. She'd been living with this guy, Marcus Elias, for three years when she started to suspect he had something going on the side. Telling me he needed to work late a lot, mm -hmm. you know, so uh, and kind of rushing me off the phone when I would call him while I'm away on business, you know, working, you know, and I'm like, that's, that's weird. Have a few suspicions and want to conduct your own investigation? So Michelle turned to the television show Cheaters, which provides do-it-yourself spy equipment to suspicious lovers. They gave me a clock cam and it looks just like a regular alarm clock. Basically, it has a camera already installed, so when they brought it to me, I just had to place it in my living room. And, honey, when they called me to look at that footage, I was like, wow. Elias says it never proved that he did anything wrong, but he feels his privacy and his character were violated. Marcus! And he's not what alone. The These devices doing? are being used to capture far more than garden variety adultery. The NSA gained access to data from millions of phone calls globally, including, surprise, surprise, the electronic devices used by world leaders. But increasingly, it's not just a matter of national security. Restaurateur and protective parent Gordon Ramsay told a TV audience he was afraid his teenage daughter was spending a little too much time in her room with her boyfriend. She's here tonight with her boyfriend, would you believe? Well, hang on. Uh, well, that's just it, because they've been spending a lot of time in her room recently. Hang on. Uh, <laughs> he said in a part that didn't air that he'd hidden a camera in his 15-year-old's room to spy on her. He later backtracked to say he was only joking. Still, the urge to know what your loved ones are up to is a powerful force, and a whole industry has sprung up around it. Apps like TextWatcher.com, My Mobile Watchdog, Mobile Spy, all can monitor your kids' text messages, calls, even track their location through GPS. So we went in search of the latest tools of the spy trade at Spy Tech in Manhattan. People have to understand that if they're out in public, they're definitely under surveillance. They sell GPS trackers and spyware for cell phones. Texts, emails, phone numbers dialed. But their widest selection is a cluster of cleverly disguised cameras. This is the recording device, and the camera is actually in the end of the plug. And for 99 bucks, you can own a camera that could be in James Bond's arsenal. Oh, that is a camera. We're recording you with this pen camera. Oh, my god. You're freaking me out right now. Cameras are sprouting up all over suburbia, catching the family dog making a run for it. Or this guy, who turned out to be a judge, keying a car. They can even catch pesky neighbors dumping trash on your lawn. Technology has always been a double-edged sword, whether used for good or evil. Privacy is the ultimate casualty in all this. But frankly, who needs these gadgets when everyone is oversharing on social media anyway? Everyone knows everything about everybody. I want all your out of the house. For Nightline, I'm Juju Chang in New York City.